What it do, y'all? Bread Tug Rob, Bread Tug Gang Forever. Houston Texans versus the Seattle. I was about to say Seattle Supersonics. The Seattle um, Seahawks, man. Um, wow. I will say, before we get into the game, man, remember that Bob McNair made those comments. Shout out to my squad for showing um, that they were displeased with that. So at the beginning of the game, the majority of my team kneeled. And we saw some white people, some white teammates in there. You know, a lot of people still stood, but that, that just felt good to know that my team was displeased with that or players on my team was displeased with that. And they showed. So we need, and they let them know that um, my players, they, the commentator said that, you know, at the beginning of the season, which I thought was trash, we stood and locked arms to show respect to the owner. But since the owner want to talk like that, F them, you know, and I love it, man. But, um, and I will say Deshaun Watson was standing. I would have loved to see him kneel, but I mean, he's young. I'm not going to make excuses for him. I'm going to just, you know, at, there was a point in time where I was young. You know, you probably just think about yourself. You think about your situation. And, I mean, that's just where he's at. Maybe in the future he'll come too. And I also noticed that Deontay Foreman didn't play um, because he left. I want to say because he left practice that day because of the owner's comments. And Alfred Blue got his reps, which... Um, which is kind of, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just unsure. I don't know how to feel about that one. But shout out to Deontay Foreman. I like that guy. Um, but let's talk about this game, man. Hey, man. If uh, Forget rookie of the year. Your boy Deshaun Watson, it, it, he should be in that MVP race, man. He put up 38 points. He threw three interceptions. Um, well, te technically... Well, he threw three interceptions. That's what's going to show up on the stat sheet. But, you know, during the game, he threw two. That last one was at the end of the game. He was trying to make something happen because my defense put me in a horrible spot. But, man, Watson found um, Fuller in the end zone twice. So that puts Fuller at seven touchdowns. He would have had another one, but he fell like around the four yard line. And I think, and, and he threw a, um, man. So Watson threw this pass. He was about to get sacked, but he spun out of it and threw it to um, my boy Lamar Miller in the end zone, man. My guy, Deshaun, my guy D Hop, man, D Hop. I'm just calling him D Hop. D Hop is so incredible, man. Because D Hop does the, the dirty work. Fuller's gonna have the 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 better looking, the more exciting play. All right, so I think Fuller's gonna have the better numbers because D Hop does the dirty work. Um, but man, I saw some I ain't never saw out of D Hop before. He got he scored a touch. He what was it like a seventy yard touchdown? The the yards he got after the catch. I want to see more of that from D Hop, man. That was incredible. Um, what else, man? Lamar Miller had a decent game. We got him in the end zone twice. One reception, one rush. Um, we had we had my boy um Dwayne Brown back. My offense was you take away those two interceptions. Oh, and because of those two interceptions, the defense scored, Seattle's defense scored 10 points. But you take away those two interceptions, my offense was kind of flawless. Now my defense, on the other hand, man. Man, this just shows you without Watt and Merciless, or without Merciless at least. I think we, we figured it out last year without Watt, but without Merciless, man, whoo! All we really have out there is, you know, you have McKinney, you have you have my guy Clowney out there, and you got Jonathan Joseph, but my cornerbacks get torched, man, outside of Jonathan Joseph, man, Kevin Johnson, Kareem Jackson. I don't know why we still holding on to Kareem Jackson. Um, there was a point in the game where that number 40 cat, that veteran guy that we got off waivers from the Jets, he got an interception with two minutes, with like close to, a little over two minutes left in the fourth quarter. I'm like, man, we could lock this thing down, man, if we just run the ball, get some first downs. And 
it was one play. I think D Deshaun Watson got a first down, but then it was like third and something, and we handed it off to Lamar Miller. I know I say I don't really like my guy, my quarterback, Hopkins running the ball, but in this situation, I would have let him run the ball. It was like third and four. And, you know, you get one more first down, and you pretty much end the game, man. But this game kind of had that, kind of had a um, – New England feel, man. How we went to New England and that game went to the wire. Now we went to Seattle. That game went to the wire. And we're going to the wire with Super Bowl champions. So we're three and four. I still feel like we're going to make the playoffs. Um, Man, my defense, though, man. And like I say, as long as you have number four out there, you have hope. But Mike v Mike Vabral, Mike Vabral, your defense isn't looking too good out there, man, and we need to figure that out. Who, um, man, I, man, my defense is just holding me, man. It's my defense has held me for, you know, I'm not gonna count the Jacksonville game. That was just, you know, whatever. Um, but in New England and in and in uh, New England, Kansas City, and and what we got here in Seattle, hey man, defense, what's up? But y'all know what it is. Next week, we got the Colts, man. We should smash them. But um, go Astros, man. Y'all know what it is. H-Town all day, man. Tuck season.